Here in the German capital city of Berlin, at the annual European Congress of Rheumatology, a study was presented that compared 2010 ACR ULAR rheumatoid arthritis criteria with criteria from 1987. And Dr. Humphreys, can you tell me what differences did you find when you compare these two sets of criteria? Okay, so the essential aims of the study were to look at what the incidence of rheumatoid arthritis was using the two different criteria sets. Um, and these new criteria have been developed in order to help us diagnose or classify, more, more correctly classify patients with RA earlier in their disease onset. And so with a new definition, we need to know what the disease frequency is. Um, and what we found in, in this study was that the incidence of RA early in the disease was greater than the incidence of RA using the um, previous classification criteria set in the same group of patients. So there were more patients who you could classify as having RA. It's important to note that while these rates were similar, so the rate of RA classified by the 2010 criteria at baseline and the cumulative 1987 criteria rate over five years, the patients were not exactly the same. So there were certain patients who were only classified by one or other criteria set, even over five years. What do you, do you think doctors should do with the findings of your study? I think really the, the, the key um, for doctors in their clinical practice is that, um, that actually um, the, the way we treat RA, we can continue in, the, um, uh, in our early aggressive treatment approaches because now what we ha the problem that we had in the past was that um, we would try and treat patients early and they would never um, acquire the features that meant they could be classified as RA according to the 1987 criteria. The fact that we've shown that the rates are very similar using these new criteria earlier on means that we can be more confident in our, um, in our aggressive early treatment strategies. I think that's probably the, the key clinical finding. This has been Damien McNamara reporting from Berlin.